Uh, good morning everyone. Today we're going to do a little bit of revision on exponents. Um, I think most of you remember what an exponent is. Going back to the simple setup, we refer to this as a term. This is a term. And this, your numerical number, is your coefficient. Just remember that if there is a, a positive, we do not write the positive in. The positive is just taken for granted. But if we have a negative, we put the negative in front. So that would become part of the coefficient. So if we just write 4, we know it's plus 4. That is the coefficient. If we have a negative in front of the 4, then we know that it's minus 4. This, your algebraic term, is your base. And then this, what the number uh, that we raise it to, is what we refer to as the exponent. Now, what does the exponent mean? The exponent means the number of times that I will take that number and multiply it by itself. So if I have 3 squared, it is not 6. It means 3 times itself twice, which gives me 9. You have to remember that raising an, an exponent means that we're raising that number or the basic um, base by itself the number of times that the exponent is re referred to. So 3 squared is not 6, it is 3 times itself twice, which will give you the number 9. Now let's get back to some of the rules, remembering that if we have bases that are the same, only the bases are the same, we when we have a multiplication, then we are going to add the indices. So this will become 3 plus 2, which will give us x to the power of 5. The second rule, when we are dividing bases that are the same, we are going to subtract. So when we don't, we don't write the 1 there, but we know x on its own is actually x to the power of 1. So in this case, it would be x to the power of 4 minus 1, which will then give us x cubed. Raising a power to a power, then we're going to multiply. Why do we multiply? We multiply because this really means x squared times x squared times x squared times x squared four times. So now the rule, going back to the first rule, applies. We are now going to say this becomes x 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, which will give you x to the power of 8. So when we raise a power to a power, we actually multiply the indices. So this then becomes x to the power of 2 times 4, which gives you x to the power of 8. When we have a bracket with two different bases, and we are raising it to an exponent, then everything inside that bracket is raised to that power. So this will become x cubed, y cubed. Everything inside. Remember, if there was a 3xy and raised to the power of 3, then the 3 as well has to be raised to that power. So this would become a 3 to the power of 3 becomes, it's not 3 times 3, it's 3 to the power of 3. <coughs> Sorry, so that will become 3 to the power of 3, which gives you 3, 3 is a 9, 3 nines are 27. x to the power of 3, y to the power of 3. And then your fifth ruling is the same when you are dividing. That's exactly the same rule applies. This will become x cubed divided by y 